All right, sweet pepper rice for barbecue. Excellent for barbecue and also good with uh, any spicy dishes you might want to serve. All right, let's run through the ingredients. First of all, you'll need some rice. I'm using, uh, you need to use a long grain rice. So I'm using the basmati rice, but you can use Thai jasmine rice if you prefer, or you can use a, an ordinary long grain rice. I don't use quick cook rice. I don't see the point. I cook it just as quick, whether it's uh, quick cooked rice or raw rice. I'm going to need, you're going to need a bit of salt. You're going to need a measure of onion. And this works with whatever measure you're using. So if you use a morgue cup or just tablespoons, it's up to you. But it, this works with whatever measure. So I'm using a measure of onion, uh, a generous measure of sweet peppers. I've used two types. I've used yellow and red for the colour contrast. And I've used, you can use frozen peas or a mixture like that. Roughly about the same sort of measure as the rest of the ingredients. Um, you'll need a teaspoon of tomato paste, tomato puree as we call it in the UK. And two teaspoons of sweet red paprika. That's a Hungarian one, a rather good one. That is... An oxo cube, it's or a beef stock cube. You can use beef or chicken or whatever stock cubes you've got available, a vegetable one, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. And I think we can uh, get on with this, really. Right, you'll need some water, of course. I've just got some in the kettle. So uh, all the action takes place on the cooker. Okay, you'll need a, a, a pan with a tight-fitting lid. This is a lid without any holes in it at all. If you have a lid, a nice tight fitting lid that's got a whole vent hole in it, plug it up with some uh, with some foil or something like that. But uh, just to stop too much of the steam escaping because we are steaming this rice. All right, I'm going to drop in a little bit of oil. That's coming up to nice heat now. I'm going to drop in some oil. And that's about what, just over a tablespoon of oil. Swirl that around and then in go my onions. And also my peppers. And I stir it with my trusty wooden spoon. And just stir that to mix. And you just want to get a little turn on those. You don't want, you don't want to get that too much cooked. So maybe about a minute or so. Alright, yeah. Onions are starting to uh, get a nice turn on them. And starting to turn a little bit translucent now. Now's the time we go in with our rice. And for this amount, I'm using a single measure of rice. Stir to mix. And this will serve two generous portions. So if you have a bigger family or whatever, just, just um, increase the, the volume. So just double up on everything. Or treble up if you're that way inclined. In goes my either frozen peas or frozen vegetables. They're really nice, they add a bit of colour and sweetness to it all. And then I want to use my measures of rice, of water. So, for one measure of rice, I use one and a half measures of water. We get that in. Stir it around into that goes my paprika, my tomato paste, my tomato paste, as we say in the UK, and my stock cube. Now, you may need a bit of salt in this. I know by experience that I just want to pinch in this, but that's all. And this is one of the few dishes you won't see me add pepper to because. There's plenty of pepper in the things I serve this with. And I don't like the black flecks in my rice. And I don't want to use white pepper either. Okay, into that, I'm putting my pinch of salt. That's all I'll need in that. Right, then you put on your lid. 
and you bring that up to a rapid boil. From this moment on, you don't remove the lid. So I'll say that one more time, you don't remove the lid. So uh, try to guard it against people coming up and trying to have a look what you're doing, lifting the lid and ruining your rice. So just leave that lid on and you'll feel it getting hotter and hotter and then it'll come to a boil. And as soon as it starts to issue lots of steam, that is when we move it down to the lower setting. Because I have an electric hob, I'll be dragging it down to this, uh, this ring here. Um, which is set at my lowest setting and then I'll leave it on there for about five to ten minutes but we're just waiting now for this to come up to steam so you can hear that now coming up to a, a steam and you can see the steam issuing from the back here that's issuing rather fiercely now so what I'll do is I'll drag it across to my lowest setting and turn the other ring off and it'll reduce now to a very very low simmer and we need to leave it like that for five to ten minutes and then just switch it off and then leave it for another ten minutes. So all in all, it takes no more than 30 minutes and most of that you sat down. OK, we're a good five minutes into it. Don't lift the lid. Remember, just turn off the heat and then I will move that now to a cool space just to leave it for another five to ten minutes. All right, let's have a look. It is steamed and it has rested and it is ready so I'm going to lift the lid and you see why a tight lid is important because we're releasing steam as we release the lid and then I'm just going to fork it up and tease it into some sort of shape and you see just from that one one measure of rice we've, we've got enough rice there for two maybe three or four people uh, it really is a, a great way of spinning your rice and introducing more vegetables into your children who seem to love it for some reason. That's um, that's it, boys and girls. I like to serve this with barbecue. I like to serve it with steaks. I like to serve it with uh, any pan seared meats. Uh, it's particularly good with uh, spicy dishes like curries or chili, but there you go just what you need I'll get you in there for a close-up and that's what it looks like close-up enjoy <laughs> Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.